strange starfish. Um, its scientific name is uh, Rasputarius hysactus, and its phylum is Echocrinomata. I know it's been said before, but apparently I'm really sick. Echinodermata. How do you say it? Echinodermata? Yes, Echo it's your own. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a demon thing. Yeah. And its class is Asteroidea, and that's its order and family. Um, description? Uh, six red uh, sea stars are very small, reaching usually sizes of only two to three inches. Um, of arm spans living in it lives in the intertidal zone. They are the only sea stars with six arms. Um, six red stars may be quite numerous in the middle intertidal zone of rocky shores, typically moving around on the top of rocks at night after hiding under them during the day. And there's a picture of it. It's really blurry. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> Um, which stone does it come from? It comes from the intertidal zone, which is, um, there's another picture, again, really bad, but it's just, it shows right here, where, it's kind of like right here too, where all they are. And those aren't the six straight stars, I, I, I don't know which ones those are, but those aren't the six straight stars, it was, it was just an example of the intertidal zone. Uh, the intertidal zone is the area that is exposed to the air at low tide and underwater at high tide. For example, the area between tide marks. What do they eat? And that was a video, but it doesn't want to show up. I don't know why. Uh, six rayed sea stars eat small snails, limpets, mussels, chitons, barnacles, and other species. And here's like a little snail. I thought that was cute, so I added that. Uh, how do they reproduce? Uh, most sea stars breed by releasing egg and sperm into the ocean, but female six-rayed stars brood, uh, brood their young until they are old enough to fend for themselves.